guys, I'm Lillian, aka Sitchi Me on Instagram and here on YouTube. Thank you for joining me, I hope you found something of interest. Today is the 30th of June 2023, 2023, and I am back with a new video. So today is a special one. We are recording the mid-year rip parade, which is very exciting. So in the beginning of the year, we filmed a, uh, a rip parade as well. And we set some goals, put those into Wipco boards. I'll put them on the screen. I've got two this year. Um, one for stitching and one for uh, knitting and crochet. And um, yeah, we are going to tune in on those goals today and see how far we've come. And I don't have too much time because I've got an appointment at 5 o'clock. It's currently uh, 10 to 4. So I've got 70 minutes. And I still have some preparing to do for the appointment. And this is going to be a long one. So I might try to... Well, I, I'll try not to rush it. But I might have to speed it up a little bit. So first things first. I'm going to start with Twilight Bridge. I am going to try to do this chronologically today. Um, so we are starting with the oldest project. Working our way up to the newest one. If you're new here... Um, it's nice to meet you, first of all. Welcome. But uh, what I'm doing is mostly full coverage. And I, you will see in a second, I like to use all kinds of different methods for every project. That's, that's just because my brain likes all the different things. Um, I don't really have one method that I prefer. Maybe I have favorites, but I like them all. So I am using a different method on every single project. And first off is Twilight Bridge. This is a Dimensions Gold Collection kit. Um, I'm stitching it on everything that came with the kit, including the 18 count Ada. So I will try to put a before picture next to it. And here we are now. So the goal was one page this year, which is 3,600 stitches. So far I've done 1,131 stitches. Um, that's because it's only been called before for this year once. So I have a stitch on it a lot. Um, so basically down here, this stuff is new. And um, so yeah, if you stitch on um, dimensions, Kids, you know that there are giant pages and I needed the working copy so I figured I should divide it up into my own pages. So it's four pages across and three down. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to this year finish up this page right here. Um, what else do I have to tell you? Yeah, so the thing with this one is I don't really like to stitch on it just because of uh, how thick it is and the different amount of, of uh, strands of, of strands and the blends and everything. Um, but I do really like the picture and my boyfriend also really likes this project. So yeah, I am going to keep going with it. So I will just slowly keep going with it um, every year, maybe finish one page and eventually it will be finished. But it's going to take a while. <laughs> Um, did I miss anything? No. So, next up is Waterhole Master. This was my first ever... Um, I wanted to say Dimensions Gold Collection, but no. My first ever Heaven and Earth Designs. So that's very exciting. I started this. So I, have, I don't have the starting date on Twilight Bridge. I just never wrote it down. But I do have the starting date on the other stuff um, and Waterhole Master I started on my birthday on the 10th of December in 2020 and this is Waterhole Master like I said a, a uh, Heaven and Earth Designs artwork by David Penfound I am stitching all of the full coverage on a 28 count easy count Swigart fabric so yeah and with Waterhole Master I am working in extreme cross country. So that's kind of a thing. 
let's see. I will put it up here. Maybe I can try to do a before and after. If I put it here, can I put a before next to it? Maybe. So there's the before and after. And then I'll zoom in. So I'm working on this color by color. I first off did all of the black. And then I started with all the colors. And for the colors, uh, I worked. I started with the one with the least amount of stitches. And I'm working my way up to the one with the most amount of stitches. And the exciting thing is that, that we are now coming up to the point where I have um, to work on the colors with a thousand plus stitches. So that's exciting. The goal for this year is to get to 15% done. I am currently at 13.5. 84% uh, from the beginning of the year in order to reach the goal I had to do 7143 stitches and up until now I have done 4149 stitches this year so yeah getting there very exciting This is going to take a while to clean as well, or clean, to get back into organization. <laughs> into an organized state. Next up is Spring Queen. This is Spring Queen. This is another Heaven and Earth Designs artwork by Bridget Ashwood. I am currently working up in the left, uh, upper left corner. So there, yes, there. And if you want to, so take a look at those roses and this butterfly. Okay. Oh, great preparation, Lillian. Take away the threads. There we are. So before I started this year, um, and I started this on the 8th of May 2021. So I am trying to stitch... Oh wait, before and after. I am trying to stitch... Um, or to start just one Fook of Rich project a year. Because otherwise I will go crazy. <laughs> and I won't ever finish anything. But yeah, when I started this year I had one page done so only this part and i'm now working on the page below and i'm going to stagger them so once this one is done i will start on this page and the method that i'm using is a pretty strict parking method i'm working in columns but uh, so thread wise i'm working in columns i park in a column below or in a block below and i finish two blocks over so that's all this, these trends so when I, fin I stitch this block, I will cut these up. That's the thing. And the goal for Spring Queen this year is, four, is 5%. And for that I needed 10,900 stitches. Uh, it is my focus piece this year. And so far I've done 6,801 stitches. That's very exciting. And remember that I told you to look at the butterfly? This is the beginning of the butterfly. So also very exciting. This may be my favorite piece as well. So yeah. Um, anything else? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's continue. Next up is mini reading time. And this, unfortunately, already is the last full coverage piece. Um, oh, sit, uh, Spring Queen, I started with Amy from Creativity by Gitch. I will link her down below. This is mini reading time. Uh, also, I have another designs. It is a um, Randall Spengler. So this is a mini. What the whole master is a regular. And Spring Queen is the max colors. So... She has over 200 colors. Um, this one I started with 
Laura from um, Searching Colors. No, she changed her name, but I will link her down below. And this also has a very interesting method. I will put a before picture above it, probably. So yeah, that's where we are at now. I started this on the 4th of November 2022. Um, the goal for this year is to get to 5% done. That will have taken, or at the beginning of the year, that meant I had to do another 3,700 stitches. I have currently done 3,657 stitches. If I noticed this earlier, I would have just added the block yesterday evening or whatever. Um, but I didn't, so we are currently at 4.99%. Um, yeah, this will be, the goal for this will be finished very soon. And then maybe I will continue on it and add more to it this year. But the goal at least will be finished. Um, I don't think... Well, I can quickly explain this method maybe. Uh, there is a lot to it. But the short version is that for every two blocks in one page, I will do another block in the next page. So say there's two blocks in here. There will be one more block in here. So you can see, for example, in page three, so the arrows the divide the pages, page three currently has five blocks, I can see, yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six blocks. So that's three blocks in the next one. One, two, three. This uh, will be one block in the next one. So that's this one beneath here. Because um, just you've got two blocks and then an extra one, but that extra one still needs a body for it to be one in there. So that's kind of how I'm doing this. And then I'm feathering so there's no lines, hopefully. But yeah, the brown stuff in there, that's the owl. And you can see there is like the eye of the baby owl. So that's, a, that's very cute. Yeah, also like this method. I like them all. <laughs> that was all of the full coverage. Now I only have one more left. And that is Ukraine. So this is Ukraine. This is a project that I got off Etsy. And I started this to basically be aware of what's happening and i also have a ko-fi link in the description box so far nobody has used it i'm not asking you to but i figured uh, as well i might put it there and then whatever is donated to that link i will donate to uh, an organization that uh, is a help provider i guess you would say over there. Um, and then this is where I'm at. I will put the before picture next to it. I literally just have one line of blue to do and just a few spots. So next time I pick this up, it, it will be finished. And um, yeah. So that's almost done. Um, Oh wow, I didn't even write down how many stitches I've done, but I guess you can tell with the before and after how much I've done. There's not too many stitches in this. This is basically, this has been my uh, travel project. Um, and when I finish this, I do want to try to start um, a chart that I got uh, recently, uh, the rainbow sampler the, the the twisted band sampler by northern expressions needleworks out of my head um so that i will start and that will probably then be my travel project because i can easily just take one color and that's all i need um 
yeah so that's everything that's all the stitching but i still have three more projects of knitting and crochet to show you if you were here only for the stitching thank you so much for watching i will see you next time uh, but before you go i do have one more thing to say and that is that if you would like to follow follow me on my homesteading journey i do have a second channel the link will be in the description box down below it is called what's growing on um, so yeah if you want to join me there feel free to do so and now we will continue with the stitching and the crochet so first up we've got a blanket that i am knitting for my best friend and we have got <laughs> look at the tiny ball of yarn <laughs> um, she chose the colors which are these four a light pink black white and gray using the black for the borders and this is where i am at so also since my last update i have not done a lot i have only worked on spring queen uh, for 600 stitches and i have worked on this blanket so there are a few more blocks but i will point them out and also i have worked in the threads on the back so it's a lot more cleaned up now at least at the back and this is what it is looking like and the new ones are uh, this gray square this square and this border triangle so those are new so it is really coming together as a blanket now um, and I'm kind of doing like stripes so you can see the so say here is a uh, gray one and this is a white one then this intersects with both of them so this is a gray and white square and then this intersects with the pink one and the gray one so this is a pink and gray square if that makes any sense but yeah it's looking amazing it is going a bit slow um, I've been working on this for way too long <laughs> should have been finished but I feel like I am picking up the pace this year a bit more so hopefully it won't take too much longer um, yeah I do want to try to focus on it but she she doesn't really mind how long it's taking and also we know we're always going to be together so it's gonna be fine um, then we have my mom's sweater so basically I have done the front this is my first sweater any, by the way this is uh, crocheted and so you've got the cable down the middle goes around the front around the neck and I have done the entire front panel these go around the arms so there is the sweater basically I'm currently working on the back and this is called for this month so I will be working on it or for next month for July I should say and so this is half of the back panel so you've got the back and this goes around the side and then I have to stitch this way or crochet that way there's something in my eye of course um, so yeah and then we will we can connect these sides underneath the arms and up here and then we have to do the sleeves and I believe there's going to be a border around the bottom and I think that's about it um, so yeah if you have any tips let me know this is my first time like I said and uh, yeah that's the sweater and then I have just one more thing to show you and that is the socks that I've been working on for way too long I am knitting socks for my mom one is done and I started on the other one and then I ran out of yarn and that yarn has been out of stock for months on end which is very annoying um, so I am trying to get a hold of another ball of this yarn um, but we will see if I can get it 
Um, and also, now I don't really remember if I have shown you my um, the socks that I knitted for my boyfriend. Because they are finished now. Uh, if I didn't, didn't, I'll just say it right now, it's finished. Um, you have seen one of the socks at least finished, so you can fill in the blank. Um, yeah. As for plans, like I said, I do want to start the Northern Expressions Needleworks um, Twisted Band Sampler. That would be very nice. I do have one uh, new start that I can do according to my own rules. <laughs> Uh, to start a new um, full coverage project. So that might either be a heaven and earth, which is very likely, or something like, um, what is a daydream tiger uh, from? Where is it from? So Tilton Crofts, maybe. Um, still something in my, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but that's okay. Um, anything else? I have been thinking, like, when I finish my sweater for my mom, I might start something for myself. Uh, maybe a top or anything like that. Um, but we will have to see. For now, I, um, <laughs> I have enough projects. So, yeah. And I think that's everything I had to say. I have one more thing on my script, but, but I have already mentioned it. That's my homesteading channel. Again, link down below. And I think that's everything I have to tell you. I can do a little bit of a live update for those of you who are uh, not new. Um, I am currently looking for my job because I'm almost done with my study. I only have like a month of work for that left. Then I have a break and then I plan on starting my job. Um, like an actual adult job, if you will. So that's very exciting. I have, um, I am currently planning a job interview with uh, hopefully the company that I will work for and we will see how things go. So I will keep you posted. Um, and I am also maybe going uh, to move out earlier than I planned to. And there's a whole story behind that, but for now nothing is for sure. Nothing is certain, so I will have to wait until I update you on that. But if I do move, and whether that would be now or in a few months, like it's not going to be now, but like whether it will be in two months or in six months, I will probably film the entire project process and post that on my second channel. So again, if you want to see that, link is down below. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found a reason to stay for those of you who are new. Um, it was very nice to meet you. And then thank you so much for watching again. Stay safe, stay healthy. Happy stitching. Bye guys.